Hello and welcome back to another Mage Quest episode. As you can see from the pause screen, some things have changed and I forgot once again to swap my skin. Oh well. Ah. Uh, so, as you can see, some things have changed. Specifically, there's not a lot of stuff in here. And the crafting table moved. Ah. Uh, Likewise, over there, uh, you can see that I removed most of the glass from the previous episode. But if we come over here, you can see I've moved all of my stuff into here. Look at that. Also, if I grab a block real quick ah. and come up, oh, I don't know how to jump apparently. And we come up here. I made this by accident. Originally, I was going to fill it all with the cobblestone, which is being a placeholder for stone bricks. And I decided this looked really cool. Also, over here is frosty bricks. This is occurred by snow blocks melded with one stone brick. And I sacrificed one of the bricks over here to make the frosty bricks and I decided while I do like the white it's a little too much white so I just have it as the main centerpiece for this secondarily uh, as you can see I've made two little exits right here to go forth I've gotten some stairs so that way I can climb up here and grab whatever I need from this this top set. Turns out you can't actually place like ladders in front of this or ladders on glass, so kinda sucks. Uh next thing I I've gotten the garden area mostly set up. I just need to actually take a hoe to till the dirt and fill it up with water. And you can see that we're missing a bit here. It it's all patched up, sorta. If we come down over here, I actually finished lighting this up and it's a really small dead end. What I'm planning on doing out of, out of camera is turning this into a mushroom farm area and making like a main underground base to, to match with the upground stuff for, for extra storage and whatnot. Also, you can see that the entire monstrosity of my sugarcane has grown, along with the cacti. I've finally placed down more cacti, and moved up lighting sources so that way that can work. Turns out, you can't actually die by hugging a cactus right here, because it's not actually on the floor, so I, I won't take damage. Uh, other things to note, I got stairs so that way I could have these to help. Uh, likewise, I've got this set up and the daisies, I moved the daisies over here. So that way I can grow the wood or stone or whatever. This is potentially temporary, I'm not sure if I want to like turn this into a mini garden area for trees or just leave it as is, but that's there. This obviously has stayed the same. Still working on this. Vines are going. Blah blah blah. Most of the changes have already been covered. So general plan for today is grabbing the stuff over here. My virtuous pickaxes. I, I ran almost out. That's the original one. Here's the secondary one and here's the third one. Uh, I need to put that back. Here's that. Likewise, I need to grab real quick an item. Curation quests. That's such a cute sound. Okay. I mainly wanted to get the storage upgrade before I forgot so I could use it later. Uh... But yeah, that, that was the main thing, was grabbing that real quick. I had 
some thoughts. And those thoughts are quickly fleeing. <laughs> oh, I needed wood. That's what I needed. I needed... That'll do. Likewise, um, for the cabinets, I forgot to explain the purpose of these cabinets. These cabinets are supposed to be holding the Archmage's books, the Earth Shield that's currently Earth Shield 1. Main reason for that is because if you look up the Arch Mages stuff, you, you have all of this, so counting this part up here with this, that makes 5 rows of 12, which is 60, and then you have the extra 2, and that makes 62. Technically, I could just use 31, but I like being equal, so... That's holding all of the, the books, and then I have my medicine cabinet like set up with all, all the plants that I've collected outside of the magic stuff. Oh, there's another thing I forgot to actually address because I did this and then promptly forgot. Over here is a hole. And this hole leads directly into a cave where there are monsters. So there are a whole bunch of monsters here that I need to light up alongside over this way. There is also a whole bunch of monsters that I need to go find because if you come down here, it's pretty good up until a certain point, and then it, it just has so many monsters. So I need to deal with that later as well. Main goal uh, for today, because I keep trying to say that and then get sidetracked by whatever I've done, finish up the, the stuff. Let's. I really want to place the glass and hopefully get the roof done. and work, work on getting the roof done. Ah. Okay. Oh, technically it doesn't ah, need to be that high. some oak. There we go. And I'm laggy. Hang on. Please, no lag. Not today. Come on. Carefully walk around. Also, I need to add in the glass in between a uh, few sections. Not sure where that glass piece went. I think I picked it up. That. And then hopefully in the next episode we can actually go back to doing uh, Botania stuff. I just face planted. Go me. Okay, so I got that done those sections done. 
I think outside of here, no? I mean, I need to, to add that. Double check over here real quick. No. No glass. All right. Main yeah, main goal is to get the roof done, finish planting and moving stuff around, and then calling it good. Okay. So roof. Roof is over here. So I did like the, the two bit and then going up. But what I didn't like was the way I did the glass afterwards. So what I decided on doing was just making a one block high rise until it meets in the middle and then call it good because I really can't come up with anything more creative than that and I'm mostly done trying to build and solve it's like I, I want to play my age quest main goal is still to play my age quest <laughs> I probably won't showcase myself just doing all the roofs because that, that's a lot of work. So double checking once this is good to go for my liking. I'll work on this out of camera. Oops. may have made a mistake. No, I don't know how the shape formed, but it looks kind of cool, so I'm keeping it.
think I dropped any more blocks. Yep. Okay, that does look cool down here. Oh, let's see. What about, what about outside? Yo, that's what I wanted originally. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely keeping it. Uh, for the inside, one of the things that I do want to do later is add actual support so it'll have the little arch and whatnot and it'll be cool. But again, that's for later and I need so much more mana glass. I also haven't done a run for sand, so there's a whole bunch of sand still up there that I haven't gotten. Correction, it's way over that way, and then over that way. But there is a whole bunch of glass that I've been keeping to turn into mana glass. So let me do that real quick. Alright, so thoughts on this setup. I will probably use this pool to make more mana pools until this runs out. Uh, I will definitely keep this separate and just have it hanging around as something really cool. Albeit kind of pointless, but I do like pointless things. Likewise for this, I'll probably move this entire setup indoors and work on getting that rearranged. I'll probably revamp that area to accommodate for such. So that that was the, the main point was to get the glass reinstalled and to get gardening up and going. So let me create a stone stone tilling item. Home one two where is my sticks? There's my sticks. Where's my bucket? And there's my bucket. I haven't found a place for the crafting table. I might put it there. I might move one over there. Haven't quite figured that out yet. Oh, grab you. Actually, no. I should have put you... Again, likewise for here underneath. Uh, we'll want to put mossy stone. I don't want to have mossy cobblestone, which I could definitely make, which is going over that way. But for here, I do want stone and, and then places for the plants. I just... My patience is slowly running out for, uh making sure that this build is done. I want to finish it. I, I love this build. But waiting to gather all the materials instead of just doing it piece by piece off camera is slowly driving me mad, surprisingly. Yum, yum, yum. Break that real quick. Grab you. Should have done this earlier, but I haven't. This is such a nice song, really.
Okay, what do I need? I need brain cells. Is that obvious? Uh, slabs. That's what I was thinking. I wanted slabs. Because currently I have a whole bunch of these. There's a plane going outside my window. Cool. Alright. Sleepy time. <laughs> As for the exits, I'm planning on putting doors. Like, for here, I'd probably do something cool like a piston door. But for over here, I'll probably just put, like, iron doors. And then have it that be the main go-to. That's not going to be the least, now is it? I need to put away the pickaxe. One of these days I'm going to remember. Oh, shovel. There we go. Because we do need that blocked so that way the plants don't have too many issues while still allowing for stuff. I'm so descriptive. Where's my melons? Nope, those are my melons. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to grab another melon seed. Just in luck, I do have one currently growing over there. Currently, melons and Pumpkins are a bit useless. I mean, they're great, but they're not doing much. Also, I need to remove the sugar cane because I have more than enough over that way. <laughs> Pumpkin, 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 okay, cool. Let me go put the seeds away. Potatoes. 
my main food source of potatoes. ground for you. I'm just going to make the entire side up until this point wheat. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, but with carrots. Really should get some stairs installed in this area. <laughs> those dealt with. Now for potatoes. Being my boundary marker. As you can obviously see, there's not much vanilla food going on over here. And I kind of have that, well, there's a lot of vanilla food going on here. There's not a lot of modded stuff. For for the modded stuff, um, I'm thinking about making their own area, probably maybe underground, to deal with that. If not, I'll probably use... the area, let's see, because there is another spot that isn't being used, which is right here, right here is not being used, so I might use that with other stuff instead. Where's seed seeds? That's gonna have to do for now. <laughs> but yeah, might put some some of the modded stuff like the wolfsbane or the mangrove not mangrove. Definitely not mandrakes. What am I thinking of? Because the mandrakes are horrifying. Belladonna. Belladonna, the Wolfsbane, and probably the Snowbells. Oh, and the Garlic, of course. Can't forget the Garlic. <laughs> Likewise, depending on how much that, that forest yields, I might get rid of this forest here of the sugar cane. Wow, it's already been 30 minutes. A lot of stuff happens when you're planting and prepping and what have you. Oh, the seeds go in here, carrots go in there. My poor hoe. <laughs> I need another hoe and some steps.
So yeah, I'll uh, work on the stone pagoda. That's probably halted for right now, considering even though I have the rest, I just I need a break from this and work on actual mage quest stuff, like the the next thing that is planned. So looking at this, let's see what we can get. Oh yeah, it's all the flowers. <laughs> Two hydrogenias or one endo flame. Alright, a color to dye floor, all the floral powders, and then choosing one. Seeing how we actually now have the room to grace this with such shenanigans. Is it getting darker? It is getting darker. I'm like, this seems a little bit too dark. <laughs> uh, I did remember I have a flower, flower petal that I can use. I can use that one. More dirt. <laughs> Alright. Gonna hide you real quick because I don't really need you at the moment. second main thing that I need to do. I need to go be bold and actually stare at Enderman. Main way I'm thinking about doing that is hanging out up in the desert area and slaying Enderman through that. So it's just like that. Because I'm going to need a whole bunch of mana pearls or mana diamonds and, oops, well, I could just, you know, do that through, uh, mole mining, going and making a strip mine. I don't feel like doing that currently. Oops, I keep dropping my mortal and pistol. See, look at how much that, that takes up. Okay, which flowers, light blue or yellow? Light blue, yellow. Really, the ones in need is, is the white. So... Ta-da! over there. Where'd I put the reward bag? Oh, up there. And then there you go. Alright. Cool. 
added. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, another thing that I have planned, it's going to be sort of like an interlude thing, but I'm planning on going through and making a video where I just read the Lexicon Botania stuff. Like, I'll flip through and then I'll read and just come through this. I, it might take more than one, but it, it's just something I wanted to do as an interlude to both be informative and just have something interesting play in the background. That isn't me going, uh, um, while crafting up a ridiculous amount of whatever. Oh, living wood, living rock. I will always take more rocks. <laughs> Ta-da! It's so cute! Call of the Hunter. Claim reward. No, I don't. I'm gonna save that one for later. Botanist bone meal. Bone meal or... Floral fertilizer. I will always take more fertilizer. Oh, I have to make ten. Well. I don't know. How many bones do I have? I have four. That will actually work. From all the mobs that have died. <laughs> No wolf taming for me. Not yet, at least. Okay, how do I make this? Yeah, you're no help. Okay. Quest book. By mixing in the floral powders with mundane cursed bones, a form of fertilizer can be produced which can cause flowers to grow from nothing and bloom in front of your very eyes. Make tin. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does that work? Nope. It has to be four. Wow, okay. Four powders to, to make one floral fertilizer. Yeah, I'll take a bone meal. Wow, okay. Let me grab them all and see how I'm going to be using them. Might as well. Oh, wait. I forgot the white one. Come here. Two, three, four. Here you have some flower fall colors. Nope. Two, three, four. Alright. One, two, three, four. Might as well crush you all up into to stuff. Come on. Work with me. I knew that was expensive, but like, damn.
it is a flower I can use. <laughs> um, there's my pouch. There we go. Surprisingly purple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I can count promise. There we go. Put that in there. Put you over there, put you there, and that up there. Okay, quest book. Yes, I want floral fertilizer because that is expensive. Ta-da! It's so cute. Flames versus hydrogeas. Yeah, not sure on that one. I'll hold off on that. Okay, what's next in the quest book? Uh, yeah. Progress requiring mana, mana diamonds, mana. Right, that's it, okay. I will definitely work on grinding that out along with finishing grinding out the sand needed for this. So, that will have to do it for uh, progress on this. The other thing that I'll probably be working on uh, is maybe doing the heavy metal storage quest, if not probably the better barrel stuff. I doubt I'm going to do that right now, because the main focus is now being focused Onto the botania stuff because I'm having fun with that. <laughs> so, yeah. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, have a good night, and see you next video. Bye!